Attack on Titan, 10 Characters Who Helped Eren the Most, Ranked The events of Attack on Titan were facilitated not just by Eren but by those who aided him along the way, both friend and foe. Eren Jaeger was the main protagonist of Attack on Titan. Throughout the course of the story, he rose from nothingness to become the strongest Titan shifter who has ever lived. However, it would never have been possible for Eren to thrive as he had without the assistance of the series cast. By identifying the ways they've helped Eren to fulfill his dream. We can better appreciate how his greatest gift is his ability to draw strength from a wide range of unique sources. Warning, manga spoilers ahead. 10. Falco accidentally helped Eren relay important messages to parody. Eren was able to exploit Falco's goodwill in a number of creative ways. While posing as a wounded Eldian, he convinced him to deliver messages that parody scouts would later utilize when planning their invasion of Liberio. However, he wasn't done with the young boy yet. Eren would also instruct Falco to bring Reiner below Willy Tiber's stage so that they could have a final, poignant conversation. While Reiner recognized his old adversary immediately, it was already far too late to stop him, especially after Eren was declared an enemy of humanity. 9. Annie Leonhardt taught Eren how to fight. During the Cadet Corps' training program, they were instructed to practice hand to hand combat. Although Eren initially presumed the drill pointless, he quickly found himself in a battle with Annie thanks to Reiner's goading. Annie put Eren on the ground almost instantly. However, Eren was able to analyze her fighting style and adapt it for himself. He would employ her skills almost immediately in a fistfight with Jean later that night, much to the warrior's shared surprise. 8. Levi protected Eren on several occasions. While Levi was never particularly fond of Eren, he made it his sworn duty to protect him. This was most memorably demonstrated during the forest attack, where he sacrificed his squad to Annie so that Eren could survive. Levi even lunged headfirst into the Battle of Liberio on Eren's behalf and saved his life by slicing off Porco's lower jaw. However, Levi was one of the characters who directly contributed to the end of the rumbling and was therefore a detractor of Eren's ultimate goal in life. 7. Armin helped to defeat the warriors destroy Marley. Armin was one of Eren's closest friends and most reliable comrades. Throughout the series, his judgment has been an invaluable asset to parody goals. Not only did the young man help to deduce Annie's identity, but he also deduced Reiner's hiding spot and threw off Bertholdt for Mikasa's counterattack. Armin's greatest contribution was the destruction he visited upon Marley with the colossal Titan. However, he also played a significant role in killing Eren. 6. Hang helped to develop Eren's abilities as a Titan shifter. After discovering that Eren was a Titan shifter, Hang immediately became fascinated by him. Over time, they helped to uncover the mysteries behind his condition and eventually taught him how to harden parts of his body. Additionally, Hang was instrumental in defeating Reiner during the Second Battle of Shiganshina. Their invention of the Thunder Spears would also ironically be useful to Flock's forces when fending off the Allied resistance from the docks. Though Hang ultimately turned against Eren, their role in foiling his plans wasn't particularly staggering since they were killed by the Wall Titans. 5. Erwin volunteered to shelter Eren as a member of the Scouts. Erwin was a massive credit to Eren's life. Shortly after they first met, the commander volunteered to take him under his wing so that he would not be sacrificed to the treacherous military police. This decision was wildly controversial, but it ultimately paid off in Eldia's favor. Additionally, Erwin gave Eren an opportunity to see the world outside the walls and helped cultivate his dreams for freedom. Without Erwin's assistance, the scouts never would have been able to breach Shiganshina, much less reach what waited beyond it. 
for, Mikasa stuck with Eren much longer than she should have. Eren first won Mikasa's allegiance after saving her from a trio of human traffickers. Ever since, she has come to his aid whenever possible. Such as against Annie Leonhardt, after he was kidnapped by Kenny Ackerman, and during the battle for Liberio. Mikasa even played an active role in thwarting the Marlian assault of parody. Ordinarily, this would make her perhaps the single most useful person in Eren's life. However, Mikasa was directly responsible for breaching his titan form and killing him. 3. Flock enforced Aaron's will after the rumbling began. Flock was invaluable to the success of the rumbling. After the Yeagerists secured parity, they hunted down potential dissidents and did their best to ensure that the Allied resistance couldn't follow Aaron. Unfortunately for him, the Yeagerists were only able to stave off their master's pursuers temporarily. Nonetheless, Flock destroyed Kiyomi's airplane with his final breath and would have made it impossible to defeat Eren under ordinary circumstances. Were it not for Falco's unprecedented Titan transformation, Flock's final sacrifice may have guaranteed Eldia's survival many years into the future. 2. Zeke helped Eren complete the rumbling. Zeke was willing to cooperate with Eren under the pretense that they were sterilizing the Eldian race. When his half-brother revealed his true intentions inside the paths, he incorrectly assumed that Emer would take his side when pressed. Although Zeke may have been manipulated into helping Eren, he was nonetheless valuable. Without his royal blood, it would have been impossible to unleash the wave of titans that would claim 80% of the global population. Additionally, he helped to fend off the Marlian forces during their assault of Eldia and ensured that Levi wouldn't be too insurmountable of a problem. 1. Grisha Jaeger gave Eren the founding attack titans. Grisha Jaeger was easily the most valuable person Eren had ever met. Grisha's decision to transform Eren into a titan would save Eren's life immediately after he became a scout. As proven through his encounter with the bearded titan in Trost. More importantly, Grisha murdered the royal family so that Eren could inherit the founding titan. Not only would this save Eren from Reiner after making contact with Dina Fritz. But it also empowered him to destroy Marley just as his father had dreamed of. Since Grisha did not have a role in Eren's downfall, he can safely be accredited as his most useful ally. 